I didn't have a dad or mom, and I lived in the streets for a long time in San Antonio, you know, and I see the way I became. And I don't want my kids to go through what I did, you know. I want them to have everything I don't, I don't, never had, you know. Personally, it's really hard because when I first got here, there was no place for me to go. I needed help with daycare. I needed help with just probably just a lot of sorting out that I needed at the time when I needed the help. There was a lot of problems that the children had, and I know that my wife and I did a lot of prayer and said, Lord, help us. How do we handle this situation? There are some hard situations. We will find families of multiple siblings, maybe a single parent, typically a mom, and they have one or two beds. A part of poverty is really having your boundaries all mixed up. Some of the, the people you should be trusting, you can't trust. Um, home should be a safe place, and it isn't a safe place. Children need the adults in their lives to be the adults and to let them be the children. And a lot of time in our families, that's all mixed up. Kathy Hartzog and we're at Small Steps Nurturing Center and I'm the program director. Small Steps serves inner city children from economically at risk families and we also serve their parents so the need that we're meeting uh, is so far reaching. My name is Evan Harrell. I'm the executive director of Small Steps Nurturing Center. Well, the circumstances of where one is born are a very powerful driving factor in inequality in America today. And through early childhood education, we've got the capacity to change that reality. Denise Wilborn, teacher, pre-KK, Small Steps Nurturing Center, to Pelton Campus. One of the beautiful things about Small Steps is we nurture the whole child. I think it starts at the front door. They walk in that door smiling, arms out with a huge hug. They know they're loved. We're also preparing them academically. They learn through their bodies, not just their brains. A lot of our day is exploring in centers. They might be exploring writing activities or literacy experiences, over in the math, working on patterns, sorting, all kind of things. Our education is of the highest quality. We also provide transportation to and from school for families who need it. We provide two meals and a snack every day, and we have a social emotional program that ensures that our students have the skills to perform at the highest behavioral level in the classroom. Well, my name is Joe Bitten. I'm involved with Small Stairs because I've had my son in there. He's graduated from there, now my daughter's in there. And Ricardo Barcenas, and I have three little girls here, Destiny and Brianna and Gianna. Well, parents are their children's most important teacher. Our parent education is called Stepping Together. Our parent ed event helps our parents know how to set limits, how to be honest, how to read with your child, how to be the adult. It even, you know, it's not just a school for my kids, even for me or for my wife, you know. They've taught me a whole lot. You know, you know I don't, I'm not going to give up as being a father to my kids. A lot of guys do that, and, you know, I'm not, I don't want to be that one. <laughs> I'm not trying to be that one. Um, I'm Amy Rogers, and I am a buddy at Small Steps. Well, the buddy program was originally something I needed to do to make myself more grateful for my life. And I thought I was going to be helping some kids, and I, they've helped me. Small Steps doesn't stop with the children. It goes through the parents, through the neighborhoods. The day that they show up at Small Steps and they have their buddy, how can they feel a sense of abandonment? My name is 
is Mary Ellen Ellis. I am starting my third year here at Small Steps Nurturing Center. I'm Tammy Clark and I own Education Specialist and we do the benchmark testing for Small Steps. When we get the kids, probably half of those kids aren't even testable. There's not even a there's no results even valid, but the progress between then and when they graduate is huge. One of the big things we see Small Steps doing is getting these kids ready to learn so that they can make a difference and have a difference made in them when they leave here. Small Steps is unique because it gives a child an opportunity to flourish, to think, to explore, and to be able to engage. We are giving them a very good, high quality education. So I think helping them learn to manage feelings because once they move into the public school system, they're going to need to be able to do that. I feel like we're laying that good basic foundation that's strong enough in order for them to be able to succeed and flourish at any school they would be able to go to in the future. And I tell you what, there is nothing more valuable that we can do than to help these families learn to be support for each other, and with each other, and to learn the value of how to be together. Small steps really do value family. Um, when they come to your home and do your home visit, that means a lot to us because they're coming into your home. Small steps is, is, is a family oriented school. That's the way I feel. Because when we go there, it's like a big family. It was good to, uh, for other mothers to get together and share our feelings and uh, express ourselves how the program have helped us. It's wonderful that they do take time out to have uh, classes and information for us. I mean, you know, they teach you, you know, to know that you really are somebody, you, you know. No matter how low you are, whatever you are, you know, you're somebody or whatever you've been through, you can, you're always somebody. I love my family and I love very much small steps and people who very, they're like parents I've never had, you know. I'll never forget them ever.